Hey y'all, this is Coach Brian with Brian Boxing. Going to try to give you some boxing updates slash news on what's going on in the boxing world. If you uh, got right here, got a story that's going on. Uh, if you haven't heard that uh, Charlo, Jamal Charlo, and Julian Williams will be fighting. Uh, Jamal Charlo will be putting up his IBF title, uh, his uh, fourth defense against uh, Julian Williams both undefeated prospects both highly uh, uh, avoided in the in the light middleweight both looking to make a name for themselves one is a uh, I would say more of an uh, aggressive type fighter that would be a uh, Charlo and then one's more of a slicker that Philadelphia style and that's a uh, Williams so uh, if you don't know, I'm going to give you a little backstory on both. Williams is basically a, uh, he's been inactive ever since he knocked out Marcelo in March to become the mandatory for challenger for uh, for Charlo. He's had a pretty decent record. You may have seen him a few times on uh, Showtime. Uh, I'm going to put his highlight reel uh, or a link to his highlight reel uh, in the description of this. But he's a, I, you know, he's a pretty, he's a pretty, uh, Pretty good boxer if you check him out. Good defense, good offense. Knows how to close that distance. Knows how to keep people away. You know, using his length, uh, you know, his his distance uh, to for defense and offensive uh, moves and punches and stuff like that. that. Doesn't sound right, right? Oh well. So uh, that's not. I mean, I didn't do all the research on him, but he's he's a he's a bomb ass fighter, man. So. I mean, hats go off to him. So he'll he'll it'll be good to to see someone finally try to, you know, uh, step up in that division. You know, that division is, is like totally packed. Like, how what what happens? How did how in the hell did the the damn um, light middleweight get packed and middleweight ain't got nobody but uh, Triple G? How how's that happen? Hmm. Isn't that crazy, right? And then, is there anybody? So there's maybe like one or two people in the super middleweight, but you know, it's like, why can't there be? You know, why can't all the divisions be stacked? But I guess there's a reason why it happens. Whatever. So, Charlo brother. So you may have heard that name if you've been following boxing at least for the last I don't know three or four years. So Charlo brothers, those twin, that set of twins. You got Jamel and Jamal Charlo uh, representing H Town. So a little little history there. They are the first set of identical twins to hold a a uh, what is it a world title simultaneously. Uh, not the same world title. Uh, that would be crazy, right? One get in the ring, then switch out. The lights go out, and another one said no. But they both hold a world title in the same weight class at the same time, and uh, that that's pretty awesome, right? So uh basically that happened you know, on the same card is when uh Jamel uh, that's the E L L one. That's all I'd call him. Jamel and Jamal. So Jamel that's when he went on and uh won his title when he knocked out uh John Johnson. And then on the same card that's when uh Jamal uh went on and had one of those uh trail round uh decisions over Austin Trout. Uh you know, Austin Trout's uh Pretty de decent guy. So, you know, uh, he, you know, Jamel's been trying to push, 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 you know. So he's he, he's got a lot of the heat. Not heat, but he's got he's got some big names because he's been the one who's had the actual uh, title. So, you know, people want to come and take that. So not until recently. So it'd be great. Wouldn't it be awesome to have both of them defend their, their title on the same card? Or maybe not the same card, just on the same day, you know. Doing, seeing the fact that they're probably from two different, uh, uh, not divisions, but you know, boxing associations. So, uh, so basically, uh, the IBF announced. Oh, back to this fight. So basically, IBF announced that the purse bid was not going to go through. They had a they had a uh, mandatory uh, due date by the first of November, and it seems that both sides. IBF went on a report that both sides agreed to have the fight December tenth. In Los Angeles, California, um, and associate, and you know, along go along going along with that, um, a little 
backstory to this is uh, Richard Schaefer. I don't know if you know who he is. But Richard Schaefer used to run Golden Boy. And then him and Oscar had a falling out in 2014. And he left. He's been kind of low key. But recently he's been popping up. He's been popping on, uh, popping up in, uh, in blogs and on uh, YouTube channels and people been asking questions. You know, so he's probably been getting his name back out there. So uh, he recently formed a new promotion company called Ringstar Promotions, and this will be their very first um, fight, which is. You know, if you're going to do it, do it big, you know. So this will be the first time that Richard Schaefer is working with Showtime since the uh, he has left Golden Boy. So I, I'm looking forward to this, man. It It, it is outstanding, you know, the, the what's going on post Mayweather. I think Mayweather basically set the standard, the bar high. And he was like, look, man, y'all going to have to come with this, you know. So everybody's chasing that Mayweather money. Everyone's chasing that Mayweather status. Maybe it's not his his um his history. Maybe not his legacy, but they're sure as hell they're trying to repeat all his financial gains and you know to make him a big name because they used to he used to run that division one fifty four. And as soon as he left, everybody's like, Who the hell's in there? Right? So uh yeah man. It's, I think it's gonna be a good fight. Uh I'm gonna go with uh uh, Jamal uh, Charlo, uh, just because uh, I've seen a little bit more of him, uh, and I like his style. It's a kind of aggressive style. He's like a boxer puncher, per se. Uh, both are kind of like a boxer, boxer puncher. Williams is more of a, he's, I think he's slick. I think he's a little bit more slicker. Uh, Jamal is a, he's a, he's a little stronger, you know. Uh, he sits back on his punch. He sits down on his punches. Uh, I believe he fought K9. If you ever watched that fight, it'd be beat the brakes out of K9. K9 is pretty, you know, pretty buff dude, pretty strong dude. But you know, Jamal went on and uh, did that thing. So uh, that's it, man. Let me know what you think. Let me know your comments. Hey, we can have a debate. I ain't got like a million followers right now, so every time somebody replies to my uh, my videos, I'm always replying back so please reply let's get interactive um if you don't know uh, my goal is to get a thousand subscribers to my youtube channel uh by the end of the year so if you can help me out by any way please like subscribe dislike share on this video and all my other videos uh thank you so much for everything you've uh everyone and everything all the feedback everyone has given me uh, i would say it's only been positive and positive is meaning like you know, you tell me I'm doing something wrong, you tell me I'm doing something bad. As long as I'm learning, I'm getting it. So I appreciate it so much. Uh, so pride never quit. Brian Boxing out. Peace.